This camp's been tough. Every camp's tough and they just seem to get harder and harder. I won that world title, I want more. I won, I won top of the bill in Newcastle, I want to do it again. That's what, that's what it's like, it's like a drug. I know for me, Cairman's very well. We were meant to box April 10th last year and I come down to uh, fight week and for me, went to get on the plane and she tested positive for COVID. So I'd actually done a full camp on, on, on for me and she'd done obviously a full camp on me. So um, this fight's been full year in the making. Do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware of who she is and what she does and do you know what she's going to bring. I've been working with Peter now for about five years. Oh, what can I say? It, he's, he's transformed me massively. I'm a totally different boxer to what I was, and it's, it hasn't been as straightforward as, as what people might think. There's been times when we've, we've had to learn about each other, I would say. Um, I think he knows me better than I know myself. There's been times when I've walked in the gym and he said, oh, what's on your mind? and I haven't said two words, and he just knows. So he obviously knows me very well. Loyalty and trust are very important in this game. He was probably the first person that I'd met. He was the first coach I'd met. He was the first one who ever taught me anything about professional boxing. I could tell that he didn't want to, you know, dampen the whole turn and pro and glitz and glamour and all this, but from the get-go, he's, he's always been up front, from, up front with me. He's never butted anything up with me, he's been straightforward. And Peter's probably the only person in this game that I trust. Training alongside Huey and, and, and everyone else in the gym is great. Um, they're all very down to earth people and athletes and we all support each other and you're just seen there after sparring, we're all asking each other what do you think or what do you think I, I could do better and we're all talking about what everything's positive, do you know, because we're training with each other all the time, we know what each other's going through. So it's good to have that type of relationship with the people you train with. But one thing that I think, you know, kept me in this game for so long is I'll just love it. I love the training, I love, I love competing, I love sparring, I love pads. I just love, I love, I love boxing. <laughs> I won that world title, I want more. I won, I won top the bill in Newcastle, I want to do it again. That's what, that's what it's like, it's like a drug. When I'm coming up to a fight, I train so hard, so I know that there's no doubt in my mind that anything that she brings to the table, I can't deal with. And that's, that's how I think going into a fight. I think, you know, she can bring this, but I know I can do that. Um, and like I said, I, tra I trained so hard, so I'm not you know, worried, am I going to be um, not fit enough? Am I, you know, is my endurance going to be there? Is my punch resistance going to be there? Um, so that, that's what makes me so confident. I've got this, I've got this fight with Femi Cairns and then get past there and then I've got a massive fight with Clarissa on the horizon. But for me, that fight with Clarissa has always been there. The rivalry's always been there. The two and four has always been there. So I would never say it was a distraction because it's always been there anyway. And I, I am quite focused anyway, and I know that for me it's no mug. She's a former world champion. Um, she's only ever been beat off world champion, so she's very experienced, and I would never underestimate her. She's no doubt she'll be the, the best opponent I've been in the ring with. She's got a quite unpredictable style, um, so I know that I've got to be switched on for the full 10 rounds, and I think it'll be a very competitive fight.